USS Boise, CL-47, stood as a distinguished light cruiser within the Brooklyn class of the United States Navy, honored by its namesake, Boise, the capital city of Idaho. Her keel was laid in 1936 at Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company in Virginia, and she was launched on December 3, 1936, with Miss Salome Clark, daughter of Governor Clark of Idaho, serving as the sponsor. Boise was officially commissioned on August 12, 1938, under the command of Captain Benjamin Vaughn McCandlish. During the interwar period, Boise underwent a shakedown cruise to Monrovia, Liberia, and Cape Town, Union of South Africa, and later joined Cruiser Division 9, Crew Div 9, of the Battle Force, operating off the West Coast and in Hawaiian waters until November 1941. When the war erupted on December 8, 1941, Boise found herself off Cebu Island. In the ensuing World War II, Boise played a critical role, participating in various operations in both the Mediterranean and Pacific theaters. She experienced significant battles, like the Battle of Cape Esperance, where she suffered considerable damage. After undergoing repairs in Philadelphia Navy Yard, Boise was back in action, contributing to crucial landings and engagements throughout the Pacific. Following the war, Boise's journey took a new course. In 1951, she was sold to Argentina and was rechristened Nueve de Julio in honor of Argentina's Independence Day. Serving in the Argentine Navy, she continued her maritime duties until 1978. However, her final chapter began when she was towed to Brownsville, Texas, in 1983, where she met her fate at the scrapyard, marking the end of an illustrious naval legacy. The ship had not only played a vital role in the war but had also continued to serve and adapt, leaving a significant imprint on naval history.